Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw a crab. I was thinking of more summer things that we could draw and I thought, well, a crab is kind of a summery thing, I guess. They live on the beach, so why not? With this one, you probably don't need to start in pencil first, but it's always up to you. I think it's a good idea to do pencil, obviously, but totally up to you. Just go ahead, get your coloring stuff and your supplies, and let's get started. The first thing we're going to work on for our crab is drawing the top of the body right here. It's a curved line like a frowny mouth. So I'm going to do this pretty much right in the middle of my paper, like in the middle of this direction and this direction. So starting right in the middle, I'm going to do a little frowny mouth line for the top of my crab's body. Then I'm going to do a little curved line on each side. That's for this arm here. We're going to do that real quick. So on this curved line, we'll start with this side. Make a curve like that, and on the bottom side, make another curve that's the same. Now we're going to do the big claws. So on each claw, one side is bigger and one is a little smaller. And we want them to be flipped. So on this side, the big one is on the left and this one, the big one's on the right. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to make a curved line that goes across the little arm we made and goes up almost all the way to the top and then kind of angles this way and you can have like a little curve in there for it to connect back here and then starting kind of like if we were continuing this curve starting right there we're going to make another curve but that's not as tall and then just angle it back to the first claw on the other side i'm going to start over here curved line that goes up and up and up almost all the way to the top and then kind of a diagonal line that I make a little wave in it so that it can connect back there. Alright, now let's do the eyes. So we're going to draw two lines and a circle on top for the eye. On this one, I did the eyes kind of like how I normally do eyes with like a little curved line and some highlights. On this one, I'm going to make this crab look mean. So I'm doing two diagonal lines. Um, on this side, it goes down towards the middle. And on the other side, we also want it going down towards the middle. So they both go in like that to look angry. And then I'm going to draw like a circle in the middle like that. And um, I'm just going to fill it in black. All right, so this guy's starting to look a little mean, which I think looks kind of cute, actually. Now we're going to add these two little curved lines inside each arm, kind of where they bend. And then we're going to work on the bottom of our crab's body. So starting right about here, make a line that curves down and stops, and then do the same on the other side. Then you're going to go a little ways in. So not starting right here, but like go a little ways in from the body and do a little curved line on each side. And you are going to make a line that goes straight out. So it's connecting with the body, so there's no space in between. So straight out, and then kind of angled down. So straight, and then this time we want it to be pointy at the bottom. So when I curve this line, I just let it get closer and closer to the first one until they touch. All right, and then do those little curved lines where the legs bend. Now we're going to continue the rest of the body. So look at where this curve stops and then just imagine, okay, it's starting right here and we curve it back to the other side. We need to add a few more legs, so let's add another one here. Two straight lines, and then kind of a curved angle down. We'll do the same over here. And 
And then we'll do two more that are behind. So just underneath these two that are in front, do that little curved point behind just like that. The last thing we need to add to our crab is the mouth and then this little line that kind of shows where the two different colors are. I'm going to make this one look mad, so I'm going to give him a little frown. And then I'm going to draw little wavy lines that are not connected, that kind of just go across the body right to where the mouth is and then to the other side. Above, I'm going to color red and below you could do a different color, you could do pink or whatever you want really. It's up to you. Now we're going to add a few little details just to make our crab look like he is, you know, at the beach. So I'm going to draw a little line for the sand and I try to draw this so that all of the legs are standing on it so none of them are floating up in the air. So I'll draw this up here. Just a little bit bumpy, wavy line. It kind of goes behind his body so I'll start back over here. Alright, and then a little bit above this line for the sand, I'm going to do a wavy line. A wavy line so I can make some waves. And then some seashells if you want to add those. I like to do it like this. Two diagonal lines. Connect them with either a straight or a curved line at the bottom. And then you do two more diagonal lines that go the other way. And for the top, I do a couple bumpy lines, like four is good. And you just do lines in between each of the bumps. And with that, I am all done with uh, drawing my crab. And now I'm gonna color it in. I'm going to use marker for my crab and then crayon for the rest. The reason I like to do that sometimes is because I feel like marker takes so much longer to color stuff in, even though I like how it looks. It just takes too long. So I'm going to choose different colors for my crab this time. I'm going to do red and yellow, and then I'm going to work on coloring in my beach. Alright guys, I'm all finished coloring in my crab. I think on this one I'm just going to leave the sky white because I used a lighter blue on the water this time and I don't think that using the dark blue on the sky would look right. But just color it in however you want. It doesn't have to be like the real crab. It could be a different color besides red. But just have fun you guys and definitely show this to me. If you color one in, I'd love to see it. Alright guys, I hope you had fun drawing your crab with me. Um, I think they're cute and I think that they're not too tricky to draw. I kind of like this one I made today with the angry face. I think he's actually a little bit cuter. But um, I'm going to see you guys on Thursday for another drawing video. So bye!